it. There we we got go. it. All right, it's Dana there Cortez, go. DJ Automatic, <laughs> Anthony A, Young Pinch in the Wellness Zone. Keep Oregon well. I'm excited to be here. You're you're our first interview here in Portland, man. I know. I'm excited. Well, I'm not excited enough to bring us some of that Mexican food you were eating last night. Yeah, I couldn't do that. Why? You can't bring that on the plane. <laughs> I forgot. That's easy. I one. forgot. Yeah. All right. Well, here you are in Portland. I was reading about you. I want to ask you the things that the fans sent me. I, I threw out a tweet and I was like, all right, young Pens fans, what do you want to ask? I thought this was a weird question. You're from Huntington Beach. How did you figure out you could rap? Like you, you were in the game. Like, how did you figure out this is what you wanted to do and you were good at it? Um, Just the music kind of spoke for itself at a certain point. Like, I just love making music, you know? So, like, I what didn't really care if other people liked it, and then people started liking it, and it blew up, and then, like, that's just what happened, you know? So, basically, you did it because you liked it, and then other people started co-signing. Yeah, I do everything because I like it, and then that's, you know, you should do what you like, and then people are going to follow if they want, you at, know? At, but at what point did the music become more than just something you did because you liked? Um, Was there a turning Probably point? when, like, I don't know, like, I, like, started, like, actually having like music take off for me you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying what song was that which one was the first one that kind of took off for you um probably like my whole first project seven one forever as a whole so when did you start making money because i'm noticing all these diamonds here <laughs> looking a little icy you're looking a little icy i've been working hard for a while now for sure when'd you get that first for check? sure what was the first thing you bought though what did you first chain did you get the ring um i got a diamond necklace with the cross oh nice yeah are are you a religious guy? Is a cross like yeah? You, you I believe, are. I believe in God. Yeah. I I wanted to ask. Some people won't answer questions like that. You're good with that kind of. You're you're okay with that. Yeah. Is that your phone? Let's see who it is. Uh oh. Uh oh. Who we got? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Not worth it. Not getting caught in the DMs here. So I know you wanted to ask something because you and Anthony y'all had a little Taco Tuesday adventure. We had a Taco Tuesday Last adventure. Last time y'all hung out. And yeah, I, I that got, was fire. That was fire. Shout that out was to those fire. Tacos. Shout so, out to Texas. Thanks for the invite, guys. Shout Sorry, out to dude. Texas. Shout out to, shout out to Texas. <laughs> we had a random night in South Texas, and I got to ask you, Pinch. Yeah. Are you when it comes to? Is, I'm just, can I tell a room the story? Can I tell a room the story of what happened here? Young Pinch is the reason I drive a Fiat right now. Oh, yeah? Yes. Wow. Young, wow. I hung out with you for one night, and I was like, I'm done taking rappers around the city. Wow. He exhausted me. <laughs> he exhausted me. I could not keep up with Young Pinch and the wave, all right? It was too much. He's like, he did That's the show. Hilarious. We bounced around. I put all the homies in the car. We went to one club. Then he goes, yo, can we go to a strip club? I'm like, oh yeah. I'm like, let's, it was in Texas. I was yeah, like, you, can't, you can't go, not let's go to the do strip it. club in Texas. Let's do it. And I was like, all right, here we go. We go to the strip club. I didn't know this. This is why, this is my favorite thing about Young Pinch. Young Pinch goes to his strip clubs based off of Yelp reviews. What? <laughs> I didn't hey, know that. Pinch, hey. can you tell the I learned that from my manager. <laughs> I learned that from my manager. I don't think that's a bad idea. Pinch, d again, tell me, tell the people. Or like, or like word of mouth, you know? No, like, But no, you just don't know no. when you get certain What do the places? reviews look like in a Yelp uh, <laughs> review of a strip club? <laughs> What, I mean, do I don't you really know. go through How do we get on this topic? Because I had to stay for and talk to What happened to the taco talk? What happened to the We're not talking about that. We're talking about tacos. We're talking about a certain like kind of taco. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, but then I just remember, right? So I'm, I'm excited. How I see did you find the taco spot? Was it off Yelp? No, I was not off How'd Yelp. How did you find a taco spot? Dana Cortez. Thank you. Okay, DJ Automatic. How did you find it off Yelp? No, so then we go into the strip club and young and Pinch goes and grabs a stack. And I'm like, oh, we're going to make it rain. I've never been a part of this. My budget doesn't ever... I was not happy. I know. And he wasn't. So he goes and grabs a stack. I go and get my first dancer, a.k.a. Empanada. Not a good not a good thing. <laughs> Before, While I'm mid-dance with this, you know, what is she, like a three or four at best? I don't know. I don't even really Y'all don't, don't diss the strippers. It was open mic Come night. Come on, guys. Pinch was already out. I don't really remember. the next room. He was already out. out. He was already gone. Mid dance, he was already gone. So we had to go too. Like we were on tour. I was out. You know, had another stop. You were out last night. That I saw you sick. three a.m. weren't you already partying? Yeah, you made it. Yeah, here. we had. I mean, to sh we were shooting a little. Some, we were shooting a little video thing or whatever. Are you tired right now? Or are you feeling good? I'm pretty tired. I didn't really sleep. I stepped on the plane, but yeah, I but feel you're good. young. You got another ten years before you really feel it. Yeah, you I hope right. so. Pray. Well, congratulations on all you know your success. Like I hope in. I hope it continues, and I think it will. You got this really good energy about you. What you? What do you want to be doing in ten years? Ten years, 
That's a long time. Just, that's a long time. I just want to be happy in 10 mm. years. It's a and, great piece of advice. And, uh, yeah, make other people happy. <laughs> How do you keep clarity on the road? How do you stay? How do I keep clarity on the road? I mean, I'm like serious. I try and keep in contact with friends back at home, you know, I just like bring like my friends that I grew up with or, you know, just to like feel at home, you know. You think that that's going to make you stay uh, on the right track? Some people fall off. And then there is a, the fact that you're traveling alone. I'm sure you have a few friends. I don't that always can... travel alone. Who do you bring with you? Like my assistant, my DJ, like So they're they're good friends of yours. Yeah, whoever I work with is a good friend of mine. Otherwise, I wouldn't, like, be working with them, you know? When it comes to, like, self-balance and... Because I, like, bring my own team, you know? So you think so that's the way to So why wouldn't I work stay? with people that I, like, like... Well, a lot, of people, a lot of people will bring new folks onto the team. And <laughs> no I don't know friends. if that's always a good no thing. No new friends. No new friends. <laughs> Settle down, Drake. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I think that's, that's a good idea to keep pe positive people around and you. And when it stay. comes to balance on the road pinch yeah like, you what's, just gotta keep grinding and get through it you know but what's this is like you, my job this but, is what i have to do you know what but I'm like saying? in your I'm downtime gonna... to keep that balance you know to keep you sane like yeah. what's something you do on the road um, when you're away from oh i play road. video games on the road on the bus oh okay we're talking fortnite yeah. what are we talking well my boys madden fortnite but maybe some basketball i'll get smoked in basketball but it's all good i have fun <laughs> there you go all right so you're you're on the road all the time i i dj on the road all the time yeah and you know that feeling of exhaustion where you're like man how do i how do i get ready for the show how do you get ready for the show when you're absolutely exhausted i don't know you don't know you just do it just do it you just There's really it. no like secret like to like make it any better like <laughs> get through it you know yeah just like you know I mean, don't you just remind yourself you know? this is what you do you know yeah, and no, that, go for me, I always find, like, a second win. I get, like, this, like, whole new energy that when I'm right about to hit that stage, I get this new energy that, like, comes over me. Yeah. I would it's agree. like a nervous energy. It's like it, once you're on It's like once you're on stage or whatever, it's like your adrenaline and your natural, like, instincts take over, you know? Yeah. I get, I get what he's saying. You don't I mean, have to think it, about it as much. You're just doing, you know? Think about it. He's got fans lined Yo, up outside. Yo, it's so cold in here. I got the chill. I know. It's so, it, it's Portland. <laughs> it's Portland. That's what it is. Nah, it's warmer outside, though. But it's I think like, I, I think about all those fans outside. I mean, you get you're literally getting paid to do what you love. Absolutely. That's, that's a great thing, and I'm I'm glad you said that. Absolutely. You get excited. You don't get tired. You just get up there and do it. You have to. All right. There you go.